Hello. Hey, how you? are you? Good. Sorry, the batting. lighting is bad. I'm in the middle of a hurricane right now. So, uh, you know. That's okay. You're <laughs> you're you're safe right now. Yes. Yes. Well, it's not that bad. It was just raining. Just raining very heavily, but it's like right close to us. So no evacuation. No, no, no. You're not in this area. Okay. Let us know if you need anything. <laughs> are you ready for this talk? Yes, I am. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. You seem like you're in good spirits, even though there's a hurt. <laughs> no, I, I really exaggerate it. It's not that bad. It's just raining. Right now. You're like, you're like, I'm like, send oh, a sandbag, the sandbag emoji. I'm joking. <laughs> really? All right, oh, and uh, we're going to start playing. Is there anything else you need? Or are you good? Good to go. Good to go. Okay, Heather Lee, let's get it. Cool. And yeah, here it's about to play. You got cool. it. So hi guys, my name is Anthony. I'm also a graphic designer and illustrator. So as a freelance creative, the path that you take is not a simple road. There's so many different paths that you could take and it sometimes can be overwhelming. So my story is about like the different paths I took and how it shaped me where I am today. So how it started. I've been drawing since I was like a little kid. Started off drawing characters I used to see on TV, as well as doodling like little um, stuff in my sketchbook and whatnot. My teacher saw my talent and then I ended up going to art schools. And you'd think that being exposed to different um, art talents would help you like discover where you want to be in life, right? Wrong. I had no idea what I wanted to do. Um, I always drew, but I got exposed to things like painting, sculpture, and as well as career paths like architecture, cartooning, design. It was very worrisome because I didn't know if I stuck to one that I would have to stay with it. This was not always the case. This was my dilemma even in high school. Uh, I attended the um, High School of Art and Design where I majored in cartooning. What I would learn is that through cartooning that you could, it opens the pathways to many different illustration and design career paths. So as I went on to college, I began to sharpen my drawing skills where I learned different more mediums as pencil, um, pastel, ink, etc. I wanted to sharpen my illustration skills, but more as a hobby, not as a career path. So between my years, I picked up another skill, which was painting. Um, it was not that I didn't know how to paint before, but it was um, it was my first time creating complete pieces, and I used oil. But I would find me having a love-hate relationship for this too. Um, I was still thinking there was something missing in my life. So design circled right back to me. Um, I was able to learn um, different art forms and implement into my design, including packages and design, animation, um, promotion, etc. While I was learning, promotional design actually began calling out to me more. This is when I joined the club OPI in my school, Organization of African Peoples in the Americas. Through there, I learned promotional design, including flyers, etc. And I created them for parties, um, events, fashion shows, etc. My success continued when I joined uh, our team on this aphrodisiac. This is all my college, and this was an event to highlight people of color, artists of color, um, as we haven't gotten a lot shine before. I created their logo and multiple promotion material for them too. This was only the beginning, though. I felt like in order to truly grow as a designer and artist, I had to connect with my peers. So I decided to do more commission work for them as well, including more flyers, more cover art, and more logos. This was just a way to also network and connect. So since I graduated, how it was going. So recently I just ended an internship that helped me see where um, I also was able to sharpen more of my design skills, but also had to question if I wanted to continue working or if I wanted to freelance. Opia put me in the door of the realm of arts management and event planning. So I was able to connect with more people and create more fires. These are some fires I created for a company, underground company, Toy Records, as well as some of my friends who were throwing events. But the pandemic happened. Along with um, the events, I also met more artists and they wanted to be, I got the opportunity to create a cover art for them as well. This allowed me to sharpen my illustration and typography skills. Through these events, however, um, which is the independent I mean, of course. Sorry, yes. um, even before the pandemic, however, um, a lot of, I've been seeing a lot of more Black people um, start businesses and freelance on their own. This gave me an opportunity to start designing logos for them as well. Aside from my commissions role, I also wanted to sharpen my own illustration skills. This is when I decided to find my own style. 
which highlights um, and highlights people of color as well as the sisters of their face. With me finally getting more confident in my style, I started doing more art shows, vending shows. Um, this allowed me to network more as well as sell some of my personal art and services as well. Despite the, the, despite the pandemic happening and canceling a lot of this, I started to feel a lot of my interests starting to come together with all the things I was learning to do in terms of commission work and personal work. So I decided, why did not brand myself instead, become Simple Floyd as well. So, so that's what I did. There's a little photo of my animating. So, so with my skills ever growing, I felt like I should pull my personal armor as well as um, provide services for other people, things that I could resonate with others. So that's exactly what I did. I started vending more and showcasing, networking. Um, these are some of me at my some of my showcases, and it's a picture of me out here in the pool as well. Um, yeah, I wanted to expand like my art into more merchandise as well. This um allowed me to start um putting my artwork on like clothing such as shirts and sweaters and stuff. This allows me to actually like practice more with my typography and stuff, and as well show what I have with the rest of the world. So what's next? I'll be continuing freelancing as well as creating logos and cover art for people as well um, as providing my own merch. If merch is not shown at the events that I'm doing, they'll be definitely available at the website I'm making soon as well. So ultimately for my story, I want people to know that it's never one simple roadway. There are multiple roadways that twist and turn and crash into each other. And I want to know that if people who, chase, who stay true to what they love, things will definitely fall into place. Thank you guys. These are my socials, all that.